Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Triple T or Christiana. If you're new here, welcome. So today we're heading to the dumpsters as always. Hopefully we are going to score big tonight. So stick around and let's save the world one dumpster at a time. Five below dumpster. Alright guys, nothing in this dumpster. The vitamin shop dumpster. Hmm, all boxes. Let's see. Yeah, just a bunch of boxes. Bath and Body Works dumpster. Honestly, I don't even think I can hook you on anything to make the camera stable. So I think I'm just going to jump in, break open some bags, and if I find anything, I will show it to you guys at the end during the reveal because this is a bit much. <laughs> I have never seen it this full in my life, but they definitely got a shipment of candles in, as you can see. Anywho, let's check and I'll show you guys at the end if I find anything. Bed Bath & Beyond dumpster. It looks like it rained here, but let's see if I can get anything out of here. I think maybe. Yep, look at that jackpot. Let's see. Is this in here? Probably. Yep, it's in there. An oven mitt. These are broken hangers. No biggie. sheet set. Some Yorkshire patty thins. That like chocolate stuff. <laughs> A plastic bin. storage bins. I'm going to take it and we'll see if all the pieces are there. A cute Sherpa blanket. A toilet seat. A can opener. A soap dispenser. A potted plant.
the food processor. The cord is not cut. A power bank and a coffee machine where I can't find the lid, but I'm hoping it probably should work without the lid. I don't know. The cord's not cut, so I'm going to try. That was heavy to take out, but that's a beautiful umbrella. Gorgeous. A succulent, a shower shelf with suction cups, a curtain panel, more shower organization, and puppy. A shower head. Dunkaroos. Literally, I can't believe I found these. I love Dunkaroos. If anyone knows me, this was my favorite childhood snack. And when it came back out on the market a year ago, I nearly bought out my entire supermarket. <laughs> it was literally crazy. But I love these. So good. One of these sponge soap wash your dishes with it. Missing the scrubber, but we can get a new one and it'll be just fine. isn't even broken. Hmm. A George Foreman grill, but this part cracked off. I'm gonna see if it still works with it cracked over there. It might, they didn't cut the cord. Wow, there's a lot of good stuff in here today. I really want to hook onto this blue. Let's see what that is. Another umbrella, holy moly. An incense with the scent in the back, but just missing the sticks. If you're determined, you'll get anything. <laughs> yeah, a beach chair. Queen linen set. A room spray. Oh, that smells good. <laughs> This is like a Rowlenta steamer. The cord is cut, but I do have cords at home. I'm gonna see if I can try and fix it. And I also am not sure if I got everything, but I think that's the top, so I'm gonna grab it. All right, guys, I have filled up my car, so I'm gonna leave the rest for other divers who hopefully could piece everything together. There is broken glass in there, so I hope they don't jump in. Anywho, that was a pretty good dive here at the Bed Bath & Beyond Dumpster. 
out of that entire filled Bath and Body Works dumpster, we only pulled out this Guavin Orange Aromatherapy Energy Cream. It's full to the top. I guess no one tried it out, but it smells pretty amazing. So it still was a good score. This is what we got at the Bed Bath & Beyond dumpster. We got a five hook rack that hangs over the door. The screws that connect to the back of this wooden frame fell out, but we can just screw that back on and it'll be just fine. We've got a shower head, a shelf for the shower. So it's a two tier corner basket and they suction to the wall. We've got a fake plant, a can opener. We've got a beautiful frame. We have a soap dispenser, a Dunkaroos, which are my all-time favorite, a soap dispensing dish brush, missing the brush part, but we can always get a replacement, a little diffuser, and in the back it has the scent, but I have those little sticks from other diffusers, so I'm just going to switch them out. We have a power bank from Sharper Image, which is a great find. A Nutri Chopper, which also is a great find. Two more fake plants. That vase is broken, but the other one is in perfect condition. And this plant has no spray paint on it, so I'm thinking I might swap it out. We've got some Starbucks. They're not K-Cups, they're Nespresso Cups. So they're all in there. We've got a toilet bowl seat cover. And the reason why they threw this one in the trash is because the packaging, it says it over here, the packaging was just not nice. So they just threw it out. We've got a Crux Artesian Series coffee maker. I could not find the cover, but the cord is not cut. And honestly, I still think you can make coffee without the cover on the top it'll just be like an eyesore so pick that out and then also this one is in perfect condition it's a crux artesian series food chopper processor and the cord also is not cut so perfect then we have this little cute um, blanket there's a little bit of spray paint honestly you can hardly even see it so i can't even find it on this one, but it's super soft. We also have a oven mitt, a curtain panel, but there is some spray paint on it. But honestly, you could use it as like a drop cloth or, you know, even try and take it out with some crud cutter graffiti um, product. So I'm gonna try that first. If not, I can use it as a drop cloth when painting rooms. We also have this queen size. I think it's like a fitted sheet, but I'm not sure. It was originally $44.99. They spray painted the plastic outer packaging, but not the inside, so it's just fine. So I think that's a fitted sheet. Not sure, but that's a good find. We also have this Simply Essential Twin XL um, flat sheet, fitted sheet, and pillowcase. So they also spray painted the outside, not the inside, so that's perfect. And then we have these six storage bins. They are plastic and you put them together. It looks super cool and all the pieces are inside and they didn't spray paint the plastic. They put spray paint on the paper, so they're just fine. And we also found these three big items. We got a beach chair, a umbrella cabana, which looks super cool, and an umbrella as well but i couldn't find the stick portion it's only the umbrella so i'm hoping that i could switch out my umbrella once it becomes dingy but if not i'll donate it and hopefully someone could get some use out of it so pretty good score at the bed bath and beyond dumpster we also got these two big ticket items we got this rowenza care pro style I believe this is a steamer for your clothes. So this piece you pick up and you steam your clothes with it. It's supposed to have a few other um, 
of these metal pieces. I didn't find them in the dumpster or I just couldn't find it because there was so much stuff in that dumpster and a lot of broken mirror pieces. So anyway, I got one and I didn't realize that we needed the other pieces. There's supposed to be like three and there would be more hooks and you can hang the piece of clothing on it. But instead, we just got that and the cord is cut. As you can see in the back, the cord is cut. I couldn't find the cord either, but maybe I can bring this to some place that can rewire it. I know I have extra cords, but I get a little nervous putting a cord that's not the same cord onto the object because if it's a different wattage, I'm not sure if it's gonna like blow the outlet out. So it makes me a little nervous. If you guys know and know that it's safe, to connect other cords onto an item that it wasn't originally part of let me know in the comments below that would be great so we got that which is pretty neat I looked it up and it's about like hundred fifty dollars and then we have this George Foreman grill I did not realize that this was completely cracked over here but the cords not cut and if you open it up it opens and it's brand new and these pieces aren't broken at all but it's just that top and I'm not sure if the top is um, just for aesthetics or if it'll ruin the functionality of this grill but I'm definitely gonna try it out because for some reason I think it's just for aesthetics so if we look inside I don't know I think it'll just get like warm in there we just won't touch it we'll be very super careful and use gloves, you know, those mitts, those oven mitts. Anyway, I'm gonna test it out because the core's not cut and it looks really nice. Pretty good scores from the Bed Bath & Beyond dumpster. This is the George Foreman grill that we found from the dumpster and it in fact works. The spray paint is only on the outside of the item so it doesn't affect the food and it is missing the drip pan for the grill, so we just added a baking pan. So we also won't touch the metal part over there without gloves, but you don't even need to touch that area anyway. As you can see, we are making chicken. Beautiful. Great score from the Bed Bath & Beyond dumpster. Hi, Eliza. How do you like the chair? Yeah. Good. Does it fit you? Yeah. Is it comfy? Yeah. Good. So this chair is pretty great. We're going to use crud cutter graffiti to take off the spray paint spots. And it should be brand new. All right, kiddos. Say bye.